I show how tubular pin tumbler locks work and how they can be opened using tubular lock picks and single pin picking. The lock uses the basic pin tumbler system, but with some differences. Key pins are pushed in horizontally instead of vertically. The shape of the key is circular, open in the center, and has grooves that are cut into the outside of the circular shape. The key pins and driver pins are pushed towards the front of the lock, preventing the plug from rotating. Once the key has been fitted correctly into the keyhole, it will depress the key pins to the correct depth and the key can be turned opening the lock. When the key is inserted, the gaps between the key pins and driver pins align with the shear plane, separating the plug from the outer casing. With the pins correctly aligned, the lock may turn. Tubular locks can be picked by a special tubular lock pick or impressioning tool with a minimum of effort in very little time. The tubular lock pick has a handle attached to a piece of circular metal that will fit into the keyway. You'll need to get a pick with the correct amount of needles and the same diameter to fit your lock. On the circular metal there are a number of needles, also known as pick wires, that can be protruded or retracted. There is also a metal ring that is meant to realign all of the needles to the same height. The pick needles can be pressed flush at the end. These are used as tension bars that can be added or removed depending if the lock needs it or not. On most tubular lock picks, the wires can be secured in place and it can act as a permanent key. Unfortunately, this one cannot do this. Now that the tubular lock pick is calibrated, you can pick the lock. To do this, place the pick into the lock, making sure to evenly apply pressure and twist. Insert the pick into the lock slowly, allowing the picking needles to map to the corresponding pin stacks. Slowly apply turning torque to the pick and the lock should pop open. Once the lock is picked, secure the pick wires in place and the lock pick can act as a key. You can also use a decoder to find the exact key code and make a replacement key. If this does not work after the first few tries, begin to press the L bends on the needles in an every other pattern. This process should not take too long. If the lock does not open after two minutes, take the pick out of the lock and recalibrate it. This works on most tubular locks because they have the same size driver pins and springs. So when you apply even pressure, the pins go to the shear line. Not all locks can be opened with a tubular lock pick, as they may have variable spring pressure. Tubular locks can also be opened by using a lock pick and a tension wrench. The main difficulty in picking tubular locks is tensioning the plug without the shell face interfering. There are tension tools made for this, but they can be limited to the locks they can properly tension. The lock is picked the same as any other standard lock. Moderate to light tension is used, and the pins are individually pressed in a circle to find the binding pin. Once the binding pin is found, it is depressed until a click is heard or felt. This will usually cause minuscule turning of the tension tool. This process is repeated until all the pins are picked and the lock begins to turn. 
Once picked and the plug is turned about 1 8 inch, it will lock again due to the key pins realigning with the driver pins directly to the right. This means that the lock must be picked multiple times to get it open. Only open locks you own or have permission to open. If you enjoyed the video, like, share, and subscribe.